In December, the IPA was the first organisation in Australia to identify the federal government's undemocratic proposal to cancel the production of the traditional referendum information pamphlet for the impending voice to parliament referendum. For the first time since 1912, it would have meant the federal government would no longer publish and distribute to voters the arguments for and against the proposed constitutional change to include an Indigenous-only voice to parliament in our constitution. IPA research called this out as an attempt to silence debate and stack the deck in favour of the Yes campaign for the voice. We were not alone in opposing the government's plans. The IPA conducted a review of the 78 submissions written to the parliamentary committee reviewing the government's plans. Our research shows overwhelming support for the referendum pamphlet. 97% of submissions expressing an opinion supported the pamphlet, with 84% supporting it without reform. Only two submissions supported cancelling the pamphlet. After the opposition leader came out against the government's plans, the Prime Minister backflipped and committed to keep the pamphlet in some form. The federal government must now listen to the Australian people and ensure a free and fair debate starting with a commitment to allowing those who oppose the voice to write their own arguments in the pamphlet so that both sides of the debate can be heard. To find out more about the IPA's research, visit ipa.org.au.